What is the difference between marketing and sales? This is a common question that I know has a lot of people confused. The truth is, as you will come to discover here, is that it simply just isn't that complicated, but maybe first you need a little bit of insight and a little bit of clarity. And that is, of course, exactly what you're gonna get here. Let's get clear on the difference between marketing and sales. How are things going, my friend? I'm Jeff from 10tononline.com. If this is your first time here, welcome. Now here it's all about escaping the grind, building a fulfilling online business and launching a better tomorrow. All right, now before you and I really get ripping and tearing and rolling here, I know that this marketing stuff, sales and business overall can feel confusing and complex. It can be difficult to know where to even start. So we've got to put the right plan of action into place for you. And this is what your free online business jumpstart guide is all about. This is an easy to follow, downloadable, printable PDF guide that gives you a solid blueprint and foundation for your online business, your marketing efforts, and your sales strategies. Loaded up with powerful action steps that you can take immediately and packed with valuable tools and resources for you. Go and grab your free guide right now while you can, while it's still available over at 10tononline.com forward slash jump. Okay, now with your jumpstart guide in hand, let's dig into the meat here, into the guts and uncover or get an answer to the question here, what is the difference between marketing and sales? Well, how's about you and I start with marketing? Let's get down to the direct specifics about precisely what marketing is. The purpose, the sole purpose of marketing is to attract people into your business, but not just anyone. See, a big mistake that a lot of new entrepreneurs and new business owners make is they think that everyone should want their product or service, that everyone should be their customer, that everyone will want whatever it is that they're selling. And the truth is, well, first, everyone is just way, way too many people. That is way too unspecific and way too broad. And second, the first thing that you want to do as you begin your journey down the entrepreneurial path is you want to identify and target a specific sub-market, sometimes called a niche market, I always just call it a sub-market though, that you want to serve and that you want your business to operate in. So with your marketing, what you want to do is you want to attract only the sorts of people who reside in the target market that you have identified while, check this out, simultaneously repelling everyone else. Yes, repelling everyone else. That's because, my friend, you cannot serve everyone and you cannot cater to everyone's needs. One of the fastest ways to drive yourself into the business graveyard is to try to please everyone and to be all things to all types of customers. You simply can't. You can't be all things to everyone. So again, this is why identifying early on your target sub-market is so crucial for you. Once you do that, once you say, all right, we are going to target this specific kind of customer, this specific type of person, then really it becomes a situation where your branding, messaging, and marketing starts to say things like, this is what we stand for. This is who we are. This is what we do. And these are the sorts of people who we do it for. Now, I feel that maybe a little bit of clarity is in order here. I want to be very clear on something. You will not be turning people away. Like if someone who is not a member of your target market shows up in your business and wants to buy from you without putting you know, undue demands on your business, then you certainly wouldn't turn them away. As a quick example here, I'm not suggesting that you start a steakhouse, but if you started a steakhouse and a vegetarian showed up and they ordered a salad, awesome, you would not turn them away. But if they showed up in your business and demanded that you create special specific dishes that are not on the menu, well, that is a different story. I hope this is making sense for you. And this is what marketing is all about. This is the specific function of marketing, simultaneously attracting and repelling. We do it for these sorts of people. This is what we do. These are our values. This is what we stand for. That's what marketing is all about. Listen, to boil things down even more, check this out. Marketing's sole purpose, if you want a very clear, simple definition, marketing's sole purpose is to attract pre-qualified sales leads into your business while 
repelling, as we say, everyone else. You only want pre-qualified sales leads coming into your business. And that's because what you want to do is you want to optimize your business operations. Your products and your services and your business overall solves a specific kind of problem for a specific type of person. It is not for everyone. So rather than wasting your marketing efforts and resources, shotgun blasting your message out into the broad overall market where most people don't care, wasting your limited resources to attract non-buyers and people who aren't even in your target market, looky-loos and tire kickers and all the rest. Instead, you want your marketing to function like a well-oiled, optimized machine, attracting in only those people who have pre-qualified themselves. Now, how do you do this? How do you attract only pre-qualified sales leads into your business? Well, as a matter of fact, there are many effective ways in other posts and content that I've published. You and I talk about some of the specific strategies that you can use right away to bring in a steady flow of pre-qualified sales leads into your business day after day, week after week, month after month. And best of all, the strategies that I use myself and that I recommend for you are completely hands-off and automated. Imagine that, automated marketing. Now we're talking right now. That is the function and the purpose of your marketing. Again, to simultaneously attract pre-qualified sales leads while at the same time sending everyone else away. But what about sales? How does that factor into all this? How does it fit into the, 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 the machine with so many moving parts that is your business? Well. We're going to take a look at that and how it connects to your marketing efforts in just a second. First though, if you're ready to start applying all of this and more to your business and to your marketing and sales efforts, then here's what to do. Head over to 10tononline.com forward slash traffic and enroll in your free audience attraction bootcamp. This is a totally self-paced online workshop where you're going to get the strategies for driving floods of traffic to your website and learn about the best tools to use. You'll learn about the different types of website traffic that you can attract and why only one is the absolute best to attract those pre-qualified sales leads into your business. You'll also see why most online promotional methods simply don't work and instead you'll get a proven model to drive near unlimited amounts of visitors into your website, into your products, and into your offers. You're going to want to bring a coffee and a notepad. Absolutely. You'll want to take detailed notes as we go. You don't want to miss it. Next though, what about sales? How does sales and selling connect to your marketing efforts? Well, check this out. Once you've got a steady stream of, again, pre-qualified sales leads coming into your business day after day, week after week, month after month, no matter what kind of business it is that you're running, the next step is making sales. I hope you don't need me to tell you this, but sales are the lifeblood of your business. Without sales, you do not have a business. Instead, you have perhaps a glorified project or maybe a professional hobby. We don't want professional hobbies or glorified projects. We want business, right? We want sales. So with this steady stream of leads coming into your business, in order to convert your pre-qualified leads into buying customers, all you have to do is present them with an offer. Ideally, an offer that is so enticing, so powerful, that promises to solve that big, nasty problem that they're wrestling with so well, that buying from you, that taking you up on your offer is a no-brainer. Now, truth be told, often you'll have to present your pre-qualified sales leads with more than one offer over a period of time. That's because unless they are smoking hot red buyers with an insatiable appetite, most of your potential customers have to see your messaging and your offer multiple times before they can make a buying decision. And man, that is totally okay. That's totally fine. That's just how this stuff works. So here's what I suggest you do for each of the main products or services that you offer in your business, develop some additional smaller products like add-ons that you could include. This is exactly the sort of thing that you and I have seen on the late night infomercials where they go, but that's not all. If you order today, you'll also get a set of titanium lithium kitchen knives, lithium kitchen knives. I don't know. <laughs> or something like, and if you order right now, you'll also get a deluxe set of handmade Mongolian mixing bowls. You get the idea, right? You want to do the exact same thing. 
why do so many businesses make offers like these? Limited time, exclusive offers where they pile on all kinds of extras and the offer is only available for a limited time? Because, my friend, it works. These sorts of limited time only offers create a sense of urgency and a sense of scarcity. If your potential customer doesn't take you up on your offer, then they are missing out. You've heard the messaging before. Don't miss out. This weekend only, buy nine and get the 10th one for just one penny. You get the idea here. I'm kind of goofing around and having fun and being a little silly, but you get the idea, right? Now, you don't have to use this sort of bombastic, over-the-top, embellishing, infomercial-type language. Instead, just keep it light and personable and casual. So get creative. What could you offer alongside your core products and services and offers? What would complement your core offer? What would complement what you're already offering that your potential customers would really, really want that you could include for a limited time only. Again, get creative. Maybe it's a set of free video tutorials or maybe a 30 page PDF guide or something else. What I'd like to do myself in my business is I've developed a whole bunch of these extras. And then what I do is I mix them around in different offers. Sometimes I'll offer the core product plus one or two specific extras for a limited time only. And then maybe later on in the year, I'll change things up and offer that same core product with a different set of limited time only extras. You never know what's going to click and what's going to trigger one of your sales leads to get off the fence and take you up on your offer. You've got to come up with some enticing extras and add-ons, again, to get your potential customers off the fence and converting to a paying customer. You never know what's going to work. This is why I say get creative and create a bunch of these that you can pull from throughout the year as you're running your promotions and your offers. Maybe a particular how-to guide isn't going to do it for a specific type of customer, but maybe a set of free templates or recipes that are only available for a limited time is going to be just what it takes, just enough to push them over the edge. The key takeaway here, my friend, is to just keep making offers, all kinds of different offers. This is what selling is all about. So with all this in mind, remember the purpose of your marketing is to attract only pre-qualified leads and customers into your business. And the purpose of sales is to guide and help and serve and essentially make repeated creative special offers over and over and over. That's it. And that is the difference between marketing and sales. Now next, let's get you on the right track. Let's get you moving in the right direction. Let's put a plan in place for you. And it all starts in your audience attraction bootcamp over at 10tononline.com forward slash traffic. Bring that notepad. I will catch you there next.